In the name of Jesus, I welcome all of you to this luminous program with the Shalom World Television. I am Father Saji Teke Kaidakat CMI, Associate Pastor of St. Alphonsa Siromalaba Cathedral in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Let's begin with a small prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, in your precious name that we have gathered here, right now, send out your word upon us. Sanctify us, purify us. By your precious blood, cleanse our body, mind, and soul, so that we may be able to experience your power, your mercy, and your love. Mother Mary, intercede for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Chapter 1, verses 27 onwards. They were all amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. At once his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, the word authority is a strong word. It is filled with meaning. The word authority denotes permission. It denotes privilege. It denotes power. It denotes rule, control, even influence. When someone has authority, that means they are on top of other people. They have responsibility beyond the norm. They are able to determine things, to decide things, to render judgments. And we say, in the home there is authority resting with the father, the parents. In the government there are authorities the police and those who govern us. In the school, there are authorities. In business, in the plant, in the job, in any dimension of our life, there are authorities. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, the word authority is a strong word. It is filled with meaning. When we hear the word authority, there is a certain force about that word. The word authority denotes permission, it denotes privilege, it denotes power, it denotes rule, it denotes control and even the influence. When someone has authority, that means they are on top of other people. They have responsibility beyond the norm. They are able to determine things, to decide things, to render judgments. And we say in the home, there is authority resting with father, parents. In the government, there are authorities, the police and those who govern us. In the school, there are authorities. In business, in the plant, in the job, in any dimension of our life, there are authorities. But there is one who has authority that surpasses all our authorities. St. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 says, All authorities in heaven and earth has been given to me. All authorities in heaven and earth has been given to me, Jesus says. Dear friends, today I would like to draw your attention to the word authority. Jesus has different kinds of authorities. What are the authorities of our Lord? When we go through the gospel readings, 
we come across different kinds of authorities of our Lord Jesus Christ. Once we recognize His power, His authority, that will transform our life. That will give us a great confidence to lead a new life in Christ. Let's see some of His powerful authorities. What are they? I invite you to the wedding feast of Cana. Jesus changed water into wine. When Jesus touched the water, the quality of the water has been changed. That shows Jesus has the authority over quality. We know we have different kinds of qualities. Our personality has got different kinds of qualities. When we surrender ourselves to the Lord's authority, the authority of quality, our life will be totally changed. We know Prophet Moses. He was a fearful guy. When God touched his life, he became a powerful leader. King David, he was a shepherd. When God touched his life, he became a powerful king. We know Prophet Elijah. He was a farmer. But when God touched his life, he became a powerful prophet. Peter, he was a fearful guy. But when God, Jesus touched his life, he became the head of the Catholic Church. Paul, he was a murderer. But when Jesus touched his life, he became one of the greatest apostles in our Catholic Church. See the amazing factor, the amazing authority of the Lord. Today, let's surrender also to the Lord's authority of our quality. The second one is the authority of our distance. We know centurion, we know royal official. Centurion, his servant was sick at his home. When he approached Jesus, he said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, my servant shall be healed. Jesus was astounded, amazed, seeing his faith. You go, Jesus commanded. The same moment, his servant was completely healed. We know, royal official son. The child was at the point of death. Jesus said, you go, your son will live. We know, our own people, our parents, our children, our relatives, our friends, they are in different parts of the world. Right now, when you surrender yourself, the Lord's authority over distance, He could completely heal them, anoint them, bless them. What we need, great faith like centurion. Right now, let's surrender ourselves to the Lord's authority over distance. The third one, Jesus has authority over time. In Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, there was a pool called Bethsaida. There was a one guy who was a sick. He had been there more than 38 years. When Jesus saw him and came to know that he had been there a long time, he asked him, do you want to be made well? But he was starting saying complaints. After listening to him, Jesus said, stand up, take your mat and go. We know the word of God says, when Jesus saw him, he knew that he had been there. That guy had been there a long time. Jesus, as a Jew, he used to visit Jerusalem. He's supposed to go there. He might have seen him many times, but he did not heal him. But when he started his public ministry, he went to Jerusalem and he healed that guy. We know there were many people paralyzed, lame, blind, but he did not heal any other people, only one this guy. That shows Jesus has authority over time. Word of God says, I have planned for you, not for destruction, but for welfare. Dear friends, right now, let's surrender ourselves the Lord's authority over time. Let's wait for God's time. 
The other one is Jesus' authority over numbers. We know Jesus changed five into five thousand. When he saw the people, he was moved with compassion. He asked his disciple, do you have something else to feed these people? Then they brought that five bread and two fish. Jesus changed that five bread into five thousand. That shows Jesus has authority over numbers. Many of our people are suffering from financial crisis. We feel difficult times sometimes. Right now, if you surrender yourself, what or maybe your situation, right now, you offer yourself to the Lord, surrender yourself to the Lord on His authority over number, He will take care of life. Because Jesus Christ is the provider of our life. He knows our needs. Right now, let's surrender ourselves to the Lord's authority over numbers. Jesus walked on the water. He calmed the storm. When disciples saw him, they were terrified, frightened, because they felt Jesus as a ghost. While he was walking on the water, Peter asked Lord, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you. Jesus invited him. When he jumped into the water, he started walking on the water. Suddenly, he started to sink into the water. What happened? He had a little faith. Jesus rushed to the spot and saved him, saying, Why did you doubt of little faith? Dear friends, Jesus has authority over nature. There are many people having difficulties related to natural calamities. Let's surrender them to the Lord. And there is another authority that is known as Jesus' authority over life and death. Jesus raised last from the death. We know Jesus cried. He wept in front of the tomb of Lazarus. Many people felt that he really loved Lazarus. But I would say that he cried because of the lack of those people's faith. They did not believe Jesus Christ as a savior, Jesus Christ as the son of God. That's why he cried in front of the tomb of Lazarus. Dear friends, Jesus has the life, Jesus has the authority over our life, and he has the power over our life and death. We need to surrender ourselves to the Lord. We have no right to take away our life. There are many people who have committed suicide. Who has given authority to take away their life? No. Our Lord is the Lord of our life. Jesus has authority over misfortune. Some people ask, Lord, why is having difficulties? Why he is blind? Is it because of his parents are sinned? He said, no. God's glory must be revealed in him. Many of our people are having different kinds of sickness. Many people are having different kinds of problems related to health, related to their mental health. We used to ask, very often we used to ask the question, why? Why are they having this problem? Dear friends, Jesus says, God's glory must be revealed in them. Let's surrender our dear ones to the Lord. Let's surrender our whole being, our body, mind and soul to the authority of the Lord Jesus right now. And He's inviting us to come to me and take rest in me. I'm your God. I'm your Lord. I will help you. I will strengthen you. And I am always with you. I am upholding your right hand with my victorious hand. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, where you are right now, Let's surrender our family, our children, our beloved one, our beloved one, our business, our working field, our dear near ones, the Lord's authority. Let him take control over our life because Jesus has the authority over quality, authority over distance, authority over time, authority over number, authority over nature, authority over life and death.
Jesus has the authority over misfortune because he is the Lord of our universe. He said, all authorities in heaven and earth has been given to me. Right now, let's surrender, let's offer, let's dedicate to the feet of the Lord our whole being. Dear friends, now let's close our eyes and feel the presence of our Lord in our midst. Let's surrender ourselves to Him. Lord, I offer myself, my body, my mind, and my soul, especially my family, my children, my beloved one. Take control over me. Take control over my family. Take control over my work. Take control over my sickness. Jesus, you are my healer. You are my redeemer. And you are my savior. Mother Mary, intercede for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I'm pleased to offer my prayerful support and blessings for Shalom World Media and for all of those that support it, for all of those that, this, that work in this beautiful ministry of bringing Christ in, into our lives. So may the blessings of the All Holy Trinity be upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen.